from school. That's why my hair's a mess. I mean, it usually is, but watch me cast the top one. Right, this is, this is going to be really hard for you to add in. I just control my emotions, really. So the club announced today, I was sitting in DT. The club announced today that um, Rafa's leaving. With one week, left his contract to announce today that he's leaving. Oh, that is, oh. Um, I mean, you can't really blame Rafa for leaving. I mean, I, I, well, when we went down to the championship, I thought he was just going to leave. So fair play for him just from sticking on. But um, it's not all bad. I was not Sky Sports. I was on BBC. But that's not the main thing. The main thing is that Rafa's left. We, we, are, we are probably going to go down next season. If these owners, Arab owners, don't come in, um, we, we'll probably end up going down. Uh, just, I, oh no, I can't even speak. It's absolutely ridiculous. This all happened because of Mike Ashley. One man. He's probably sat at home watching the news. No, Mike, uh, no, Rafa's leaving. Ugh. Probably he's pro he's probably paying some prostitute now. He, I'm just gonna put it out there. Right, so I've got some statements up here. Uh, it's with disappointment, fair enough, that we know Tonager Rafael Benitez because Mike Ashley is involved with the club. He's just thought about Rafa making money for the club. Um, they've worked significant over a period of time, and um, that's a lie. We've had we've heard nothing up to now, apart from this Bin Zayed owners group. We've heard nothing up to now about. Rafa signed a new contract. Uh, it, po and it wasn't possible to reach an agreement because Mike Ashley is tight. That's why. If you just put an extra hour, five million, well, I'd say that probably about 100 million. But if you put that in, then we wouldn't be in such a crisis we're now. We're probably going to have to get Gary Monk back. Uh, we could even see Chris Hooten too, which wouldn't be that bad in my opinion, but which would be the worst thing possible. Alan Pardew came back. I couldn't doubt. And I've already got my clean tickets ordered. Yeah, I'm sitting behind the Gallagher first row, so I'm looking forward to next season, but this today, right, just some more evidence that Mike Ashley is tight. Um, May the 12th, Rafa Benitez says his press conference after our fall and winning against Fulham. Uh, he would like to remain at the club, he can see the potential of this huge club, and he wants to see here, so he, but no, because Mike Ashley, what is it? Oh, it's so annoying. It actually is. <laughs> right, my own. I've got spent and received over the three years Rafa's been in charge to. Season of the Championship, 16 to 17. Minus 32.3 million. We spent 52 million, which is reasonably big for the Championship, but we received 80, 84 million. 52 million is probably big for the Championship. But Mike actually made a profit of 32.3 million. We received 84 million off, I think it was. So Zogo and Jal, the middle of the head. There's probably other. Deadwood that left, but so we spent big for the championship, but Mike actually still made profit. It, just, it doesn't make sense. Uh, so we received eighty four point million. Where's all that money went into Mike Ashley's back pocket? Uh, the season when we got promoted seventeen eighteen, we actually had a, the only one where Rafa was in charge. Out of the three, was twenty one point one million plus. So we spent thirty six point four million, but and received fifteen point three million, which. Is the only good season, but then players who were brought in were Jacob Murphy and Chavi Manquillo and uh, Jocelyn. Uh, that's the only I think on top. Of, yeah, there would have been more, obviously. Yeah. Uh, then the season just being 1819, uh, there was a net total net spend of zero million. It was spent 43.5 and received 43.5. So altogether, the total net spend was minus eleven point two million. So that means Mike Ashley, that's like how much profit Mike Ashley. Um, but we spent one one hundred thirty one point nine million, but also received. And uh, now we've got Rafa Benitez as game presenter in all competitions. So he, games he had one hundred forty six. He won sixty two. He drawn thirty and lost fifty four. He had a win rate of forty two percent. Now. With no, with hardly no budget, that is very good. Uh, he's had very limited budget. The players he's brought off the top of the head, when we win the, like, obviously, he brought some in the championship, but in the Premiership, well, obviously, had Almron, 
We had Josh Liu, we had Rondon alone, Kennedy on loan, Breck on loan, who only played about 10 minutes against Tottenham. Uh, that's what I thought I took out. Uh, Fernandez, there will be more, I can't think in the top of my head though. But um, now I'm going to go at this protest, there's going to be one at Ginger's Park. Uh, I'm going to go there now, it's all organised by the Magpie Group. And if I go at the top there, I'm going to look like it is. Hey Ashley, hey Ashley. If you hate Ashley, stand up. If you hate Ashley. Right, I'm um, up from protest, I'm in KFC now. Protest wasn't the best, so we'll just keep the KFC. Chip you up. A bit hot. Probably give it a double nine. <laughs> yeah, there's even a job there. I'll try and win. Quite hot, they're quite hot, but overall I'll probably give it about 8 just because it's really hot away from cool guys. But yeah, I'm just going to end the video now. I'm not really doing anything else, I'm just going to go around the town. I recommend this place. Cream pills. How's your meal? Sorry, I forgot to review. How's your meal? 10 out of 10. Josh, how was yours? 10 out of 10. Yeah, cream pills. I'll try to review it now. Mmm. Can I take it down? It's going to be your stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm recommending it. See you.